Did he fight with your thermostat constantly trying to regulate temperature in your house because one room is colder than the other or hotter than the other? Well, I do. And stick around because I'm going to show you a device that solves that problem. So let's get to it. Hello and welcome back. So, you know, when I first got my Nest thermostats many years ago, I always had trouble regulating temperature in the house. My house does not have very good, um, I should say, air management in how they design the um, HVAC system. So typically we'll have like our bedroom is hotter or colder than the rest of the house. My office where I'm at is hotter or colder than the rest of the house. And so downstairs in the bedroom, I had purchased a Google Nest temperature sensor. And it did phenomenal in allowing me to manage the temperature of the downstairs Nest by that device. So that way I could always make sure the bedroom temperature is what I wanted because we like to keep our room relatively cool when we sleep. Well, today I'm going to show you the second gen Google Nest temperature sensor. This is actually the same temperature sensor that comes with the fourth gen thermostat, but it does work with third gen thermostats, which I also have. So I'm going to use this here in my bonus room to regulate the temperature for upstairs. So I know that this room will always be the temperature I want it to be. Because sometimes when I'm in here, you know, recording my videos or playing a video game or whatever the case may be, this room can get pretty warm because the thermostat's out in the hallway. And I usually keep this door closed because I don't want, you know, any distractions from downstairs. Obviously, don't want to bother my wife when I'm, you know, playing my modern warfare or doing my videos. We're going to unbox this. We're going to set it up in the app and we're going to check it out. So first, let's get it unboxed. I do like Google's simple packaging. They never make it too complicated. So that's the device right there. And this actually is a little bit wider than the previous version. It's actually a little bit thinner than the previous one. So I kind of like that. A little more inconspicuous. So this is kind of a nice touch. They give you this screw right here so that if you wanted to actually mount it to the wall or even to the ceiling, uh, you could. That way you could get it in the optimal position where you want it to monitor your temperature. Now for me, I'm just going to set it here on my desk because this is really where I spend most of my time. And this is where the temperature needs to be regulated the most. So I want it to be looking here as to what temperature it is. You can see over here, I have a uh, SwitchBot Hub 2, which is kind of cool. I'm going to link that in the description. You can go check that out. That's actually a really handy device. I have several other SwitchBot devices, and they all kind of connect with each other, and it's a pretty nice little unit. There's a lot of times when I'll set my thermostat to say 68, but that reads like 75, 76 degrees because, again, when this door's closed, it does not regulate temperature well at all. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to scan that QR code right there. So you got to get into the app to scan it. So let me let me get into my Google Nest app. Now, I almost forgot to mention, this will only work if you have a Google Nest thermostat. If you don't have a Nest thermostat, this is not going to work. So just keep that in mind. But I will say that these Nest thermostats have been flawless. They work perfect. I have a third gen and I don't really see the need to you know, spend the extra money just to upgrade to the fourth gen to get a bigger screen and some of the AI features because the third gen works perfectly well for what I need. So I bet you right now you could probably pick you up a third gen for a little less than what it was originally on sale for. So you might want to go check that out. I'll link it in the description. So now that we're in the app, you can see here, this is the temperature sensor, and you can see that it is actually connected to my living room downstairs nest. And you can see that my bedroom temperature right now is 71, but downstairs is 67. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, if I make my bedroom 68, the living room's already 67, isn't that gonna make the living room a little bit cooler than that? Unfortunately, yes. However, at night, my wife likes to watch TV in the bedroom. 
and I like to be upstairs and I'll either play games or I'll make videos. Sometimes I'll watch TV with her. So we don't spend a lot of time in the living room. So I'd rather have the bedroom the right temperature and my bonus room the right temperature. Because likewise, as you see here, upstairs right now, I have my thermostat set to 68. So yes, if I set the thermostat here to 68, this room says 74 and I'm cooling this room to 68. Yes, it's going to make the outside hall area cooler than what this room is, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make because I want my room the right temperature and I want the bedroom the right temperature. So you definitely have to kind of balance out your needs as far as what rooms in your house you want to have the correct temperature. But it really isn't a bad idea to have multiple temperature sensors. So that way you can kind of see like where your house is, you know, maybe has bad airflow and that way you can kind of adjust things accordingly maybe change your vents or you know close a vent in one room and make sure it's open in another room so you can help with that circulation because that's important if you can keep the house a pretty consistent temperature obviously that's ideal uh, unfortunately there's no way for me to really control that with vents there's just not enough of them in the bedroom to open and you know close out in the living room but Let's get this added and see how well it works. Let me you add a product. Scan the QR code. Yes, thank you. It's connecting. Perfect. Pull the tab. Pull out the tab for the battery. Next. Find a good spot for your temperature sensor. Place it in room you'd like to keep at comfortable temperature. I did. Thank you. And I'm attaching it to upstairs. Excellent. That's pretty quick. That's pretty easy. That's the way it should be. Next. And we are going to put it in the bonus room. There it is. Next. Done. I thought that was going to take longer. But again, when you design a product to just work, it just works. <laughs> so good job, Google, on that one, because this paired instantly. So now let's check it out. So now, as you see here, it says the bonus room is 74 and the thermostat is set to 68. Now, I can know by this temperature here, you see right there. It's not 74, probably because I was holding this is why it's 74. So I'm going to let the temperature kind of normalize before I go to changing it. But all you have to do is if I want the upstairs thermostat to control temperature based on the sensor, I just select the sensor. And then I basically tell the thermostat, hey, I want you to control the temperature based on what this reading is. So as you see, now it changed to 74 degrees. Right now, I'm going to put it back to the actual thermostat itself until it normalizes some. So I can kind of give this a chance to, you know, reach the proper ambient temperature. And that way it'll register correctly. But you just don't get any easier than that. And again, I don't really need to use that screw because I'm going to set it on the desk because this is where I want it to be. I don't want it on the ceiling or on the wall anywhere. <laughs> so I was just going to set it on the corner of my desk. Um, and that way I'll know that this is getting the temperature of where I'd normally sit. So there it is, corner of the desk. I really expected that to take longer, <laughs> but you know what? Again, uh, you know, there's one thing about Google products. When they design them to all work together, they just work. You, you don't have to, you know, fiddle with settings. You don't have to fiddle with Wi-Fi. You don't have to mess with any of that. You basically, most of them come with that little QR code. You just scan the code, tells Google, here's what I'm adding. You choose what it is. You put it in the room you want. Boom, you're done. And that's as easy as it always is. I've never had anything more complicated than that. So I'm glad to see that works the same. And I'll actually get to compare this second gen to the first gen sensor just to see if there's any difference in how it registers temperature. I kind of doubt there will be, but we'll see. 
So don't forget to go check out this playlist right here. It's got a bunch of other really cool smart home gadgets that I recommend for your smart home. And if you have any questions or comments, please hit me up in the comments section, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.